what do our listeners do if they're on the verge of marriage or they're they're thinking about their kids getting married? I want to go talk to my kids and make sure that my son or my daughter gets a prenup. How is the best way to approach it? What I found is that people don't really object to the component parts of a prenup. What they object to is the word prenup or the idea of a prenup itself, Mm -hmm. right? So if you go to your significant other and you say, hey, should we be transparent with each other about all of our assets and debts that we're coming into the marriage with? I mean, you certainly wouldn't want to be surprised if I've got, you know, 20 grand of of credit card debt or 50 grand of IRS debt, you know, and you don't find that out until we're applying to purchase a house, right? Um, Would you agree that we should, you know, lay down some rules about spending, that we should have a, a deep conversation about how we're going to set up our accounts and have some kind of agreement about what's mine, what's yours, and what's ours. Mm. You know, can we set up these different, you know, I call them money buckets, um, and determine what's going to be in my bucket, what's going to be in your bucket, what's going to be in the joint bucket. How are we going to fund the joint account? Is our, our checks going to go into that joint account, and then we each get, you know, an allowance from that joint account? Or are we going to keep our money going in our separate accounts, and we each kind of pay our share of the bills? Is that share of the bill is going to be 50 50 or is it going to be pro rata with our incomes? Yeah. You know, should yeah. we have ongoing mandatory disclosures of like, you know, important financial information like our incomes and our savings rates and our retirement? Um, all things that we typically advise clients to put into their prenuptial agreements. And then, yes, you know, like any good partnership agreement, you know, if this were a business, you're going to also, in addition to having kind of the rules of the road or how we're going to manage this partnership, you would also have, you know, the safety net, the contingency clauses for what happens if this partnership doesn't work out. Yeah. And when you approach it from, hey, I'm trying to plan for our marriage together, not I'm trying to plan for our divorce. Divorce. 